in tonight's feature named The Devil in Me, a delightful tale woven by the talented people at Supermassive Games. In this story, the tale of two newlyweds, in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, through life and through death. Isn't love marvelous, and yet such a complicated matter? Indeed, it can be the most seemingly insignificant choices that affect us the most, like the simple task of choosing a hotel to spend the night. It has been said, you can check out any time you like, but you may never leave. And with that, perhaps one should beware of the generosity of strangers, particularly hoteliers. After all, there's no such thing as a free honeymoon. Sleep tight. is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for 100 miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> We've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again? Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait, my attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Yes, 
Today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. I forget to bring. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm, <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? I wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. Ugh. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. 
Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. Oh, that is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? <sighs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Or not. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up.
Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? Back already? You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. Oh. Hmm, that's nice. Ow. You don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. We don't want to disturb the other guests. Let go of me! Let go of me! I really thought you'd have a little more fight in you. What are you doing? If you've touched Maria, I'll... You're a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. Is there a problem, sir? this oh it's wonderful only the best for you my dear mother would simply die it's so i say uh, good man do you work here hello welcome to the world's fair hotel <laughs> <laughs> 